Good morning, everybody. Today I'm vlogging again. I figured I'd show you the progress I made yesterday. So I painted my bedroom door and um, Aubrey's bedroom door. My bedroom door will need another coat of paint. Um, Aubrey's looks like it's good. I still need to do all the trim work. Um, but her ceiling is done. And hers actually came out really good. Like, I don't see actually any area that I need to touch up. So it's all nice and bright and white. And to show the difference, if you look, uh, I'm only gonna catch a shadow. Yeah, you can't even see the difference. Cause like, I didn't get super close to her um, light and you still can't see the difference. So probably didn't have to do it, but I'm glad it's done. Um, yeah. Just one less thing someone can complain about. Um, I did all of the uh, trim work, so that's nice and bright and pink. So the only thing I have to do in here is touch up, you know, those two holes. Um, I need to do the windows in here. Um, this one, yeah, I guess I have a few spots to do. And um, really clean the windows, but so this room is getting there. It's almost done. I know for a fact by the end of this weekend this room will be done um and so i'm happy with that progress uh as you know the boys room is already done um so then we came in here and um i'm sure you've seen it in the videos like there was like paint all over the window so my husband was able to um he just told me to get paint messy all over it and he could take it with a razor blade and he did he got all the extra paint off so this one, I know it's not showing up because the way the light is, but it's nice and bright and white and it looks so nice. I'll try to remember to show it tonight because it does look really, really good. Um, the only problem is, is this is like the trim part to it and it's like part of the window. And so it's like, I don't know, it just it doesn't look good, but it is what it is. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. So that is done. Very happy about that progress. I ended up getting selling a bunch of stuff yesterday again I made like 140 bucks yesterday it's like it's nice that it keeps you know coming in on a pretty steady pace so um I vowed myself that I'm not touching a paintbrush today I um got a really bad headache yesterday and I think it's because I typically paint with low VOC paint um the ceiling paint I don't think is and if it says it is it's very strong I painted in Aubrey's room. I had both of her doors open and I closed her door. When she walked in the house, she's like, Mom, what is that smell? And this paint is just super strong and I think it gets to me every time. Um, so I'm not going to paint today. I really, really, really want to get every room upstairs really nice and clean. Um, maybe sweep them off the floors. I would like to wash the couch. Um, you know, wash the floors, vacuum the floors, fix all the beds, do a quick dusting if need be. It shouldn't take me more than like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, so my hope is to get that done today. Uh, we have, I think we have lunch today with a friend. I, we had kind of casually talked about it, but I wasn't sure if it took off or not. So I have to make, see what's going on with that. And then I want to get all of my sales packed up for my online yard sale on Sunday because I have quite a few people that I'm going to meet and I think I'm going to make at least another 100, 150 there. Um, some people have had to cancel and stuff like that, which, you know, it is what it is, but, um, and then I want to get the cabin ready because that's selling, um, Sunday as well. It's another 50 bucks. So it's like, it's just been insane to pull the punching bag for 40 bucks yesterday. It's like all this money is adding up. It's really, really nice to be, um, just padding that envelope and, you know, having, you know, knowing that we have a lot of money set aside. I mean, at the rate we're going, we may be able to pay for our truck that way. Um, you know, to rent a Penske truck is, I think it's going to be like, it's either $1,100 or $1,300, but then I have a AAA discount, which offers me 20% off. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm vlogging today. I actually got dressed today. I feel, you know, kind of like a human being again today. Um, and I'll also try to share with you my breakfast, lunch, and dinner as I filmed a you know what I eat in a ketosis type day and I will say that I had fallen off plan guys no fighting please and then they fight um I will say that I fell off plan a little bit and it wasn't like a huge fall but like I was um 
just for like a few days. It was on and off for a week, I'll be honest. Um, I just was being stupid and making stupid decisions and letting the stress get the best of me. And then I'm like, no. So thankfully I weighed myself today and I'm only up 0.6 pounds from what I had lost. So I haven't gained a ton of weight, which is good. Um, but I've popped myself out of ketosis. So now I have to pop myself back into it, which is going to take a couple days. So, um, did really good yesterday, hoping to do really good today and I should be back in it by Monday. Um, and then that's when the rapid weight really does start to come off. So, you know, lots of water today, flushing out my system and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get going with my day. I'm going to drop all the kids off and then I think I'm just going to clean until it's time to go get Casey. And then from there, we'll maybe go do lunch and stuff like that. So. It's like 8.30 and I have gotten the both bathrooms cleaned and mopped and everything and I'm just airing them out because I put, um, so I got one bathroom done um, and then I got all of the bedrooms done and this is how Casey and Trevor's room is going to show. Like obviously I'll fix the beds a lot neater um, and I'll remove that frame back there but this is how the room's gonna show so hopefully it's empty enough for people I may get some new balls for that but probably not because I think I'm just gonna that shower not shower that um what is that that curtain rod is going to stay or go in the trash when we sell the house um I got the girls room all done and cleaned up um, and I think the girls' room is going to stay like this. I'm going to fix this because this drives me absolutely bonkers. I think that this one needs to be, like, centered to that one almost. But that's just me. Um, but this is how this room is going to show. I'm probably going to get rid of this before we start showing. I'm not quite sure. It's not a super sturdy piece anymore. It's kind of beat up. Um we don't need to go with a changing table so this most likely will be gone and it'll just be this that's here in the room which will make it look that much bigger i think too um and you know the the walls are nice and empty because i know someone's going to come in here and like if they don't have boys they're going to be like holy crap that's a pink room <laughs> so um but these curtain rods i'm bringing with us because i think that they're really pretty um and then my room i cleaned up my room we haven't done much to besides um, the ceiling and the trim. Um, most of the walls need new paint. That's selling this weekend. Those are selling this weekend. That's going to be there. I don't know if I, I in all honesty want another one of those. I may actually buy one and take that off and put it on the wall just so that it looks uh, symmetrical. And then I'm painting these silver and then I'm putting a mirror on top. I saw it on um, YouTube or Pinterest or something. And I've always wanted mirrored nightstands. But I can never, like, I never wanted to shell out that money because they're normally like two or $300 a piece. So I'm going to um, make them myself and then we'll just bring them with us. Um, that shelf is for sale, but I think that that's all staying for when we move. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, and then this is obviously staying here and I already sold that thing. So, and then these walls have to be touched up. Trim needs to be done in these rooms. Like, this room is on my major to-do list. Um, and then I also clean my bathroom. I just mopped the floor so I put all the rugs up but minus me just taking down that curtain by accident um this room is pretty much how it's going to be that'll obviously be cleaned up but um I am probably going to put I got a I have a normal size curtain a full size curtain and it's white with like dots or something on it I'm gonna probably put that in here when we go to show um and then a nice like white towel in my bed in a lot of places to put nice bright white towels when you go to sell um so I'm trying to do everything I can to make it sell quicker. Um, you know, I have a house that does have some things that people have to question and think about. So I want to try to make it as inviting and as, you know, whatever as possible. So people look at it and think, yeah, you know, that's workable. So all the bedrooms are done. I'm going to do a quick vacuum to those. Vacuum the rug here in the hallway. And then I'll roll that up, put it in the boys' room and sweep them out this area. And then at least that back half is done I mean it's only 8 30 so and I talked to my friend and we are going to lunch so if I can just clean until it's time to leave that'll have to be good enough for the day and then I can go downstairs and pack and I have a feeling once I start packing up my bags for the meat then I'll start cleaning up the basement because I know that the playroom is kind of a mess
I'll say never again will I ever buy a microfiber couch, especially with kids and animals. Um, so I just cleaned some of the couch and I'm freezing it now. And I got to this point, but then you can see like that's yogurt from Ellie yesterday. Um, the dog makes it smell and I spray it almost daily with the breeze, but it just doesn't get the job done. Um, I'll get you sour gummies in a minute, but you need to get down because you're not being safe. Pop down. Um, so I just have to sweep and mop this room. Um, You're gonna stay in here right? the, uh, on these two because those two, all those rest are wet. Um, and so I think. All right, I'll get you one in a minute because I don't want you eating in here. Um, so it's nine or five now, so I think that I'll have plenty of time to do my dining room and my kitchen, and still get out of here in time to get Casey. So I'm very happy that I haven't been like, oh, screw it. I've been working all week. I'm just going to go sit on my laptop and watch YouTube for an hour because I have a tendency of doing that and then an hour turns into like five. So very happy that I'm getting my stuff done so that I can really focus on projects this weekend rather than cleaning. All right. The entire house is clean. Well, the entire upstairs, I should say. I just did those two couches. I have to um, hang up that coat whenever the floor dries. Um, my counters are pretty much clean, so I'm going to bring this Comcast stuff with me either tonight or tomorrow and take that to Comcast to drop it off because we don't do cable anymore. This is to go in my office. Dishes are drying. Dishwasher is going. Kids clothes or kids toys they need to put away. And then this is all Jeff stuff he needs to put away. So it's 9.40 now. I am going to sit down and relax and watch some YouTube videos, maybe try to edit a little bit. Um, Ellie, no. We're not going to play with that. If you want to play with your little figures, you can, but you're not playing with that. Um, she's in a rare form today. She's like not listening at all. We've been definitely going through those like terrible threes with her and trying to get her to snap out of it. So um, I'm going to sit down and relax for a little bit and then it'll be time to go get Casey. So I went ahead and put all that stuff away. So all that I have left is this dog fence. And I don't know where my husband's going to keep it. House. We're not going to Kristen's house. Um, and then I got the other cable box all set here. So I am going to go ahead and take this. I wanted to go to Hot Topic anyways. Because um, I wanted to get... I wanted to look at their Disney bows. Uh, as they have a few online. But I just don't want to pay the shipping fees or whatever. So <clears throat> I am going to... I put the dog in the crate because I'll be gone for a while. And I just don't want him to like destroy anything. Um, so I'm going to pick up Casey... Go have lunch with my friend, drop these boxes off at the Comcast store, and then try to run into Hot Topic real quick. Um, so that whenever I get back, uh, I can just focus on the basement. I went ahead and swapped. Guys, I want to get a mushroom at Target. Nope, no mushrooms at Target. Um, I wanted to get, I swapped, swatched, swapped a load of laundry, kind of cleaned up the TV room a little I'm, bit. I'm good. I want to get mushroom today. No, nope, you don't have any money. So, no, um, get me money to put. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, so, yeah. I'm, I'm staying here. Okay. Peace out. See you later. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be our day for the rest of the day. Uh, I got most of it upstairs clean, so then hopefully I can clean and then get my, um, stuff ready for my yard sale site. Uh, when I get home, I'm going to just go ahead and fill up my water bottle so I have a nice full water bottle on me. And um, yeah, it should be a fun afternoon. And I feel really good about going into the weekend that I can get some stuff done around the house, but also the house will be clean.